Hey guys, what is up? It is Final Hour here. Welcome to another one of my videos. And in this video, I'm doing a little bit of change of pace. I'm actually going mid lane with uh, Jax. Originally, I was going to go top lane with Jax, but this, uh, who was it? Swain said he hard counters Vlad top, so I'm just going to let him go top lane. And which means that means I'm going mid, so fuck it, yeah. Uh, so, things about Jax. Early game, he's... He's he's not like bad or anything. He's just kind of underwhelming. Not really someone who can trade well. He's kind of one of those champions where he has to farm up a little bit. But once he gets farmed, holy shit, he is so awesome. So uh, his E ability obviously is a stun. It's kind of like a charge up stun to where it's a de it's delayed for a couple of seconds because he like swings his thing in the air, his his lamp post. But in this case, it's like a little spike ball. Um, and then it'll stun him because it'll swing finally and it'll stun him. His W is pretty much just like a nuke. It does so much damage. It's really good. This is what you're going to want to max out first in lane. And then his Q is a gap closer. And pretty much what you do with that is you you can harass him. So like once you hit level 6 with Jax, what you want to do is you want to like... Because every third hit from his passive, from his ultimate, um, it does like additional damage. So what you want to do is you want to hit like two minions twice. And then you're going to want to jump in and do a shit ton of amount of damage. And then you're going to want to E away. That way you don't take damage at all. But since I'm playing mid, I kind of got to play... I just got to be careful. Because Diana can do tons of damage really easy. She's kind of a bursty type of champion. She's kind of a stick-on champion. And Jax, Jax doesn't like that early game. He doesn't like people to stick on him so well. Because um, I'm actually going 21-9 and... Okay, our Aatrox went... Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. Who starts red? Who starts red first? Alright, I'm gonna help him. God damn it. All right, and sorry guys, I hate when that happens. Oh my god, where's my screen? Um sorry about that, my thing cut out again because someone messaged me on uh on I forgot I am blanking out so hard right now on uh Skype. But anyway, as I was saying, just be a little bitch in lane until you have oh crap, I don't wanna miss that. I don't wanna miss this either. Alright, so I'm just farming up, and yeah, it's doing a lot of damage. They hit level 2, and I kind of had a brain fart. I was explaining myself, but they didn't realize Aatrox want to go red. Because you generally never start red um, when you're on my side, so I don't know why he wanted to go there. But now I'm behind a level, which is not bueno. Don't want to be behind on Diana. A level. She could burst you down kind of hard. And my masteries are 2190. And my runes are kind of like 80 carry runes to where I want decent sustain. Uh, so it's like 6% lifesteal, uh, 80 quint or 80 reds, sorry. And uh, what else? Armor, armor yellows, and then MR blues. So yeah, or a scaling MR blues, sorry. Not just straight MR blues. I should have took straight MR blues for this match, but I wasn't expecting to go mid lane. So anyway, let's just farm up. I just gotta kind of play passive because she could do damage to me since I didn't go tank Jax this game. But I think I should be okay. I'm doing okay right now. It just every time her little moon crescent's up, I gotta care because she could just go in and like half health me right away. I think she actually kill me now. Is she like all in me? She could probably do tons of damage. She also has a shield too, which is kind of annoying. All right, so I hit four. Kind of behind CS because I wasn't paying attention. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, survived. Oof. That was close. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Get her, get her. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Oh, my God. Why am I die too? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yes, yes, right here, right here, right here. Get him. Get him. Fuck. He's gonna survive. Oh no! The Aatrox got him! The Aatrox got him! The plays! The fucking final hour plays! Holy shit! I misplayed that and played that at the exact same time. That is nuts. Alright, so first back, I'm gonna get Vamp Scepter. A lot of sustain. Um, I'll get a couple of those. And uh, yeah, so that was a really crazy sequence of events right there. Um, I saw Shaco backed off from him. And then when I saw Aatrox was here, I went in, kicked his ass, uh, the Diana, and then 
I thought Shaco was going to kill me. He was right next to me. Couldn't finish me off because I flashed away. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. All right, back in lane. I got to farm. I'm, like, fail farming so hard right now. I just missed that one, too. Fuck. All right, time to go ham. And I'm telling you guys, whenever I make a video, I just I just cannot farm well. It's it's I think it's like stage fright or something. Seriously, like or it's just the fact that I have to explain stuff, which means I'm not paying attention like right there. I don't miss that CS. I'm a gold one player, guys. I don't fucking miss those. But uh yeah. All right. Time to focus a little bit. I'm thinking if I can 1v1 or not. Kind of iffy. Shaco can be anywhere. That's the one thing I hate about Shaco. He can literally be anywhere. And since there's no oracles, there's no, like, and pink wards kind of suck now. It's in the sense that if you, you could just see a pink ward and just kill it right away, you just don't know where the fuck they are. But I want to hit level 6 first. Once I hit level 6, that's kind of like a mini power spike. Alright. And people keep messaging me on Skype. You gotta leave me alone. Give me a second. Anyway. One, two. One, two. Oh, fuck. I miss it. Fuck! I'm so bad. Alright, eight tracks are close to me. I hit six. Yep, I got a traitor now. That's good news. Atrax is here, but I don't have... Oh, fuck. Nice. Good gank, good gank. Alright, cool. So let's just farm this up, and we're going to push the lane. As so. Probably going to back soon. I just want to push the lane that way. She misses all the CS. And she doesn't get it. That way I could be ahead. Fuck! I missed the pig minion! What is wrong with me? Holy hell. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna back. Get my advantage. Um. I don't know what I wanna do right now. Kinda iffy. I'm trying to think what I should build. I'm gonna do this. There we go. I should have bought a war too, but I had my trinket up, so I don't really need it. But the reason why I went uh, cutlass is so I can get a jump start on getting Blade of the Rune King. Um, some people rush Blade of the Rune King, others transition into getting Trinity Force right away. But what I like to do is get cutlass, and then I'll see what the situation is. Since Diana is such a stick on champion, I kind of do want to get Blade of the Rune King first. That way, I could just bork her and uh, try to get away from her if I ever get into a sticky situation. And plus, I could, like, dash to minions too, but just for extra peel. That's why I'm going Blade of the Rune King first. And then, uh, I just got some more health pots. Five health pots is kind of overkill, but whatever. I didn't even realize it. I just bought more health pots when I backed. So, yeah, that's my thinking there. And then, obviously, I want boots. That way, I could just be more mobile and get up to lane quicker. And I don't know where Diane is at. Let's signal it to my team because I'm a team player. Oh my god, how did I not hit that one? Alright, so... Mid lane Jax is doing really well right now. Partially because our Aatrox is ganking extremely, extremely greatly. Anyway. Oh, there's a Shaco. What in the world? I don't know if I should all in him. Nope, bad idea. I knew he was baiting me or something. I knew something was going on. I knew if I would have all in there, he would have just disappeared away and I would have been in a sticky situation and Diana would have raped me. So, it was a good idea that I backed up and didn't fall for the bait. Because I knew it was a straight bait. But maybe I could have killed him though. I could have probably jumped in, ignited him, flashed away, and got away. But not worth the risk, I don't think. Oh, fuck. And uh, I'm at 60 CS at 10 minutes. That's okay. Not anything spectacular. I should definitely be at around 80. But... I'm just farming like shit. Like, look, I'm just being careless. This is just being careless. Everyone can see us. It's a mechanic that you really need for League of Legends. All you have to do is pay attention and, uh, and just manage your minions accordingly. But just like me, I'm just I'm just being stupid. Look at that. I'm being so bad. 
I'm about to gank bot soon. I'm gonna level up on Diana. See, if I go in like this, look what she's gonna do. She's gonna dip away, and now I'm in trouble. See? I was just showing you guys an example as to why I can't really all in her right now. Because she's, she's tanky as shit, and I'm not, so... Plus, since my masteries are all, like, damaged for the most part, it makes it a big issue. Oh my god, okay. Can't really gank anywhere. Our lane's push bot lane, so... I'm gonna let this lane push. Alright, got it. Maybe I should show you guys how to harass people in lane. There it is. Look at that. And then you want to press E too, but I didn't really need it since she was already backing. But that's that's the combo you want to keep in mind. Just keep trying to do that. Two hits on minions. One, two, and then you harass them like that, right? And then, obviously, when your E's up, that's what you use so you don't take damage back. And then sometimes you could just stay with them and all in them because they're not going to stick around for you. And, yeah, you're going to win the trade. That's what you want to do with Jax. I'm just passively farming right now because I just want to become a monster. And my team is kind of feeding. All right, there we go. 83 CS at 11 minutes. This is more. This is more like a Lambo Peter performance right now, a final hour performance, I should say. I'm just playing on my main account, Lambo Peter. Um, don't want to fuck up. Oh shit! Stop it. No one likes that. Not one bit. What else can I talk about? Oh yeah, it used to be that before, Jax would usually start Dorn Shield because of the fact that he had a weak early game. But ever since the Trinity Force changes and ever since um, ever since you could buy a Dorn's Blade in one pot, it's just a lot better start because he's, Jax is a more offensive champion than a tank champion. But what's been happening in Season 4 is that people are running tank on Jax a lot more often because just the defense mastery tree is really good. But uh, even if you do run Defense Mastery Tree, the Dorn's Blade is still ideal because you want to do damage to the other person. And uh, all Dorn's Shield does is it gives you 100 extra health, gives you health regen. And uh, But yeah, it just, it's just better overall if you just get Dorn's Blade. And my team just pinged me. And I should probably place a Trinket. Why am I not placing Trinkets? This is why I am Gold 1 shit. And this is why I'm not, like, Diamond. I gotta use my trinket every time it's up. Uh, <laughs> I should actually got E there. Or maybe, no, it's Q. I think it's Q you max next after W. So you want to max out W first, and then get Q, and then get E. Um, and then obviously, whenever you can max R up, that's what you get. You get mid. I'll probably win some trades. I'd probably win this trade. Probably all in it, too. Oh fuck, Shaco! No! Fucking Shaco! Oh my god, and she survived. That sucked. Fucking Shaco. Alright. So, I have two options right now. I can go into the Blade of the Rune King, or I could start Trinity Force. In this case, I'm going I'm going Bork, just because I'm mid lane. And, uh, yeah, I just want to be really offensive. I want to stick on to Diana. And, uh, yeah, I could have killed her there, but, of course, when I go in, Shaco's just there. Like, the one time, the one time I just want to go all in, Shaco's there. Damn it. Ah, oh, that's the struggle of a mid lane Jax that was supposed to go top, but let Swain go top, and, yeah, mid. That's, that's, that's the difference between mid and top. Mid is more susceptible to ganks, I think, because there's so many more gank ways, and, uh, if you ward one side, they could come from the other, and vice versa. Um, and actually top is, top is actually really vulnerable too, but, you know, there's only like two ways you could go and gang from top, whereas in mid lane, there's just so many alleyways you could come from, and, uh, maybe it's just because I'm Jax, but anyway, but look at what the Bork does, it's amazing on Jax, they just warded here, I'm gonna ping it for Aatrox, food ping, I'm actually gonna tell him it's, oh my god, why am I, what, did you guys just see that? Jax just like spazzed so hard. Oh my god. I don't know why. Sometimes that happens where like I 
want to attack, but then it just like spazzes out. It's weird. Now I was gonna tell him Warden. Right here. Aatrox is here. He's counter jungling. I have a lot more kill potential, I think, than Diana. She's building all tank. Oh, she's building all damage, actually. Another thing I should have did there during that engage. Shaq was probably here somewhere. That's why she's baiting it. No, he's top lane. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna keep farming up. I'm gonna outscale Diana. I'm coming, coming. My train gets up on a ward here. A diamond player once told me that warding here is really good. And I actually thought about it. It's really good for yourself because you'll know like naturally if he ever tries to come up here. Actually, right here is more ideal. But as I was saying, um, it protects your bot lane. Because then they'll know, okay, he's in the bottom jungle. We got to be more careful. And then it protects yourself as well because obviously you don't want to get ganked mid lane. So it's a really good ward. Um, I should do it more often. I just forget to. I'm forgetful. Oh, I got to dip out from there. That's bad. That's bad. I knew Shaco was there. Yeah, that was bad news. I'm going to kill it. Fuck, I'm gonna die too. That wasn't worth. Uh, the Shaco is so annoying. Really, really annoying. And this is where we uh, we don't grief to each other, but like we just say our mistakes. We we open up to each other. We're just like, oh, that was so. I I fucked up. I fucked up. You know. You just gotta say that sometimes. You gotta say that. Two people. When you truly fuck up, you just gotta say, you know, I fucked up. I, I just did. Nothing really I could do about it. Uh, I'm gonna build Merc Treads. That way I'm a little bit more slippery. And I am going to start my Trinity Force. I'm gonna try to get Sheen first. That way my W is just a nuke, a nukeazoid and just rapes everything. Um, our bot lane's doing extremely well. Nice. How's our, how's our, uh, our top lane working? Top lane's okay. He wanted to switch with me, but. For some reason, it's not working out too well. It's probably because of Shaco. But, yeah, Lucian's doing well. And then I'm doing well. And then Ajax. This Ajax is really good. I gotta say. He's amazing. He just made one big mistake. As well as I. I shouldn't have dove there. I should have just let him die. But it was a one for two. So I guess it was okay. And I'm slowly starting to scale a lot better than Diana. So she has a Zonia. So, oh, shit. Getting that armor. I really want blue buff too. Where's my blue? Where's my blue jungler? I know all of you have blamed your jungler from time to time. Where you're fucking playing mid lane like Ziggs or who else needs blue? Really bad. Um, Ari or something. And you're just like, fucking where's my blue jungler? Your jungler's like, bro, I'm gonna take it because you're 0 2. And then you're just like raging your ass off and you're just like, jungler made a good call because you're losing lane and you don't want. Like, you're mid to die again and give blue buff to the opponent. And then, for some reason, you just realize that you're an idiot and that it was a good call because then your jungler with blue buff gets, like, a double kill top lane or something. It's happened to me before, even though I don't play mid too much. God, this Shaco is annoying as fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 Diana. Fuck. I think I'm going to gank top. No, I got to stay mid. My mid... Actually, my mid tower's already gone. Where did my mid tower go? What? That shit cray. Anyway. I think from here... Well, it depends how Shaco's building. Yeah, Shaco's going all ED. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay. Damn, dude. On top. This sucks. Stun him, stun him. I'm coming, I'm coming. Coming for the gank. Coming for the gank. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was a perfect dodge. Damn it. 
I'm gonna get him. Nice. Overall worth. That was a two for one. Aatrox died, but then I came and ganked and helped out uh, Swain. So yeah. What is my score right now? One, two, four. I am the I am the assist man. Oh shit. Alright, I'm gonna push mid. I really need this mid lane. So I can start roaming a lot more. Alright, 163 farm at 20 minutes is not too shabby at all. Almost 10 CS a minute. That's the great thing about Jax. You could die once or twice. As long as you farm really well, you're going to outscale whoever you're laning against. Unless it's like a Nasus or some goofy shit that scales better than you. But uh, yeah, you're just going to be a monster. I wonder where Diane is. She doesn't react to me. I could just take two towers for free. Oh, that's a Vlad. I wonder where Diana went, but I'm going to check. Oh, fuck. Maybe I should ward this. He's, oh. Nope. I am a gold player team. And Thresh, you could kiss my ass. I should have just went straight for red. And plus, I wasn't attacking the big minions, so. I have a feeling Shaco's here. Or Thresh. Thresh. Alright, now we focus Diana. Now we switch on Diana. Fuck, but. Oh my god. Bad news, bad news. No! I knew Shaco was there! Fuck! The Shaco's so good! God damn it. I knew it. I just... Ah. <coughs> Fucking the shackle, oh man. Alright. So I picked up Vage and Sheen. Kind of pissed off. Our mid's getting taken. Unfortunately. Really unfortunate that that happened. I, I, I fucking knew who's there. Why didn't I trust myself? Why didn't I trust myself, people who are watching this video? I know why. Because I'm bad. I'm so bad. <sighs> when in doubt, just keep farming. Just keep farming. <laughs> Just keep farming, just keep farming. Just keep farming, just keep farming. Oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna suicide. Let's do it. Just keep pushing mid. Oh, fuck. We have a Vlad. They probably took Dragon. No, they didn't. Fuck. I'm on my way. I'm gonna ward here, that way just in case Shaq or some goofy asshole comes. Look at that dragon control. Look, one ward, two ward, three ward. And there's a ward right here. Shaq is coming bot lane. Oh my god, why is Diana on Vlad bot or mid? Leave me alone. Oh fuck, I gotta help, I gotta help, I gotta help. Oh my god, maybe I should use my ult? Fuck my life, please! I need to use my ult and I just got obliterated. Alright, I got Trinity Force. So now, I've been fucking up this game. Um, we just got aced, not good, not good at all. Three for five. I fucked up in the sense that I didn't use my ult earlier. When you build ult damage on Jax, his ultimate really scales super well. As you can see, when you activate your ult, your armor bonus is equal to 35 plus 30% 30 bonus attack damage. And magic resist bonus is equal to 35 plus 20% ability power. So when you're going like 
pretty much glass cannon jacks. You're not really glass cannon because your alt for 8 seconds makes you tanky and damagey at the same time. So, I just keep fucking up right there. Oh, God. I'm not thinking right now. I'm telling you, it's the, it's the video curse or something. Whenever I make a video, I just play like shit. I'm a better player than this. At least I hope. I hope I'm not like this when I'm not recording. But I know I'm not because I win games and I don't feed like this. No, I'm not really feeding because I'm like doing decent and Diana's like 0 and 5 so she's feeding more. But like, I don't know. Like who wants a pe who wants a piece of the champ? Let's do it. No one does, but I'm just bad. All right, anyway. Let's follow Lucian. We got to get top lane. I'm going top lane. I'm diving this shit. You don't want to dive a Vlad genuinely, but fuck it. YOLO. I'm going ham. You're fucking dead. Peace. All right, let's get tower. Let's get fucking this asshole. Oh fuck, we gotta get tower. We gotta focus, Diana. There we go. There we go. There's the turn. There's the fucking final hour turn. All right, let's get let's get this tower. We get this. That was a good play. I got tower and I got two kills. Amazing. Amazing, the turn of events. We could dive him if he stays. Oh, fuck. No. No. Why did I dive? No. All right, I've, I'm saved. Fuck, I should have just got tower. Why am I so bad? Oh, my God. No, my team's throwing. Oh, I'm going to get blue. I'm going to get blue. The only reason why I'm getting blue here is because I could lifesteal off of it. Oh fuck! No! No! Oh! The double kill! The double kill! I'm gonna flash! Oh, oh my god! Oh, the Jinx is the king of League of Legends team! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Let's do this shit! I am fucking pumped! I am Jax! I am a fucking lantern! Let's do it! Holy shit! That was crazy. All right, what am I gonna build now? I am pumped. Let's fucking do this. Um, you know what? I'm going straight Spear Visage. Let's go. Spear Visage is awesome on Jax because of the fact that he gets increased self healing, aka life steal, and he also gets 20% CDR, 400 health, as well as 55 magic resist and plus 20 health regen per five seconds. So it is amazing. Sorry guys, I'm fucking so pumped right now. That was fucking amazing. Holy shit. Like, for some reason, time just slowed down right there. I jumped in, got a double, and, like, I knew my flash was up, so I just flashed away. And this Vlad's not going to do shit to me anymore. Die, you fool. I'm going to kill. Oh, my God. No. Fuck. Oh, wow. That was a 1v2. Whoa. Guys, you don't even understand. You don't even understand how fucking... Oh my god. That was so nuts. I can't even believe I did that, to be honest with you. It's like a play you only see in the LCS. Like, you just see the opportunity. And it's there. And then, you, and then like, you just... For some reason, time just slowed down right there. Like, it was like, I knew I could go in. I knew I could kill at least Thresh, bare minimum. I could maybe kill Ash. And I killed both. And then, like, I saw Vladimir there. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, I'm fucking dead. I'm like, wait a minute. I got the summoner spell flash. Peace. And I just dipped. And it was gone. And I, and I, was, I was a king. And it was amazing. All right. Um, no, I'm not going to get armor just yet. I'm going to save up a little bit because I'm going to get a, a giant's belt. But from here on out, I think I'm going to build Randuins because Randuins is also really good on Jax. And it's going to help me. Um, at least slow down this Ash's damage because she has really good damage right now. She has Infinite Edge, Last Whisper. So, uh, yeah, Randuins is going to help me out in surviving that. And then after that, I could go either one of two ways. I could go Zephyr. I could go Static Shiv. I could also go, um, what's that other weapon where it's like, sorry, guys, ended it prematurely again. But anyway, as I was saying, I could go one of two ways. 
or one of three ways, sorry. I could go like Zephyr so I could increase attack speed and just like wreck their face. Um, as well as that movement speed increase. You know how important that is on Jack, so you could just keep hitting them while running. And then, um, what else I can go? I could go Rage Blade as well. That is really good against his Rage Blade. Um, because Jax, dude, you could, honestly, you could probably build anything on Jax and it makes it somewhat viable. You could go AP Jax. I heard that's really good. You could go uh, all AD Jax. That's great as well. You could go Hybrid. You could build all Tank Jax. It does not matter. Jax is just amazing. I'm probably getting baited here. Maybe. All right, anyway. <coughs> I just get Tower. Fuck, whatever Vlad does. It doesn't scare me anymore. Actually, he's never scared me, but... Early game, he's kind of a pain in the ass, and he has a lot of sustain. Oh, shit. Leap! Damn it! Alright, there we go. Shack was probably here somewhere. I can smell it. Uh, no, that's... I'm just gonna wait here. The reason I'm waiting here is I want to read. Vladimir's gonna come up here. No, Baron, yeah. They're doing it. Fuck. Fuck, they got it! Fuck. Damn, we played that really bad. Oh, shit. Get the end hit, Lucian. Force some. Damn, dude. Alright, this is starting to get important. So I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna get this. Lucian got the bottom and inhibitor. If I was their team, I would have rushed. Yeah, that's a good play. Good play by uh, Ash. Really good play. <coughs> She's gonna get mid. And we're in trouble right now. That just completely fucked us. The reason why we fucked up there is because Lucian stayed bot lane instead of roaming. I mean, holy shit, we know where she's at. She's going to be here. Probably either curve down. Oh, wait, she's here. Okay. I could take Ash 1v1. There's no way she could stop me. Not a fucking chance in hell, especially since I'm almost at Randuin's. There we go. Whoa. No, we can't do that, I don't think. What the fuck? He's still here? Please. Yes! He lives! Don't worry, guys. I calculated that in my head. I knew he was going to live no matter what. All right. Fuck! I'm gonna CS. Oh well. I'm doing the second best in terms of CS. I'm just gonna push top so hard. Just could, just because I want to make them waste their Baron by farming lanes instead of actually fighting us. So I'm just gonna push lanes as much as possible. That way they can't really fight us. I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna cheat over here. So they're probably gonna react to me. And I'm gonna place a ward right here. I knew it. See, Ash just uh, used a little thing. But I'm just going to take this. Sweet. I'm going to wait right here. But see what I'm doing? I'm just trying to delay that Baron. Get it off them. And continually pushing the lanes going to be a fucking pain for them. So that's what I'm doing. Just keep pushing the lane slowly and steadily. The red team doesn't get caught. And they're getting caught. We should not be fighting this. No, I'm not. I'm not fighting it. Oh fuck! I at least want the big one. There we go. What is our team doing? Holy shit! They're combing me so hard. Holy fuck! Diana, that Diana lived too. Man, dude. We're throwing so hard. 
we shouldn't have fought there. We should have just stick, stuck to my plan. We should have just kept pushing lanes and delaying that Baron, but now they might be able to win, actually. No bueno. And this Lucian needs to stay with us. He cannot just keep being, like, not there when fights happen. Not good. All right, so... What can I do? I'm probably going to go this way. I'm probably just going to get the Rage Blade just for the additional damage. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Oh, nice, nice. That should be two kills. That's one. Never mind. Damn it. I wish I had TP now instead of Ignite. Oh, my God. Now that I think about it, their chain stunned me really well. I'm actually going to get boots, too. Let's do it. Don't these uh, enchantment boots, home guard boots, remind you of that like star in Super Mario? That's what I feel like. Whenever I get it, I just run super fast. Like nice, Lucian. Nice, 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 nice. Did he die? He didn't fucking die. We can get this. We can get this. We can turn this now. Just keep going, man. I'm super tanked too. I'm actually gonna move this here. Clear the wave. I don't feel like tanking right now, even though I'm pretty fucking tanky. Let's do it. Probably end right now. Yeah, we can. Their mistake there, the reason why they threw so hard right there, is because they didn't just back off right away when they won the fight and to heal and get like their advantage. They just try to stay. got a tower for their stupidity. Ooh, I'm jumping in, I'm jumping in! Oh, nice, nice, nice! No, I flashed on accident! That was completely my accident! Take off his GA! Fuck! I'm so bad! <laughs> I made, like, really good plays on top of really bad plays there. Holy shit. Ah, uh, fucking A. We just threw. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Fight ulti. What do they have more of? AD, AD. Okay. 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 Hmm. They have two APs and two ADs. Shit. So I can't really build against anything. I'm going GA. No. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going GA. I have to go GA. I was going to build another damage item, but no, I got to fucking go GA. No, what's more deadly? I'm going to go armor too. I need to survive against the Shack going fucking... And this Ash. They're really annoying. <coughs> yeah, Baron's up. Like right now. Shackle's bot lane. We can do it. Let's do it. I just saw someone bot. I don't know if that was Shackle or not. Yeah, that's Shackle. Shackle. We gotta do it. Let's do it. They know if somehow. Fuck. See, where the fuck is our AD at? Like, he's never here when we need him. Oh shit, but he got a kill though. Alright, we could probably do this now. Yep, didn't reset either. Sweet. Shaq might come in here and steal it. If he does that, we're in some fucking trouble. We got it. Alright. Fuck, Shaq out. Just fucking end it. If he wants to be stupid, he could be stupid. We could just end. They only have one tower to our two, so if he wants a base race, that's fine. Oh, Ash is dead. I'm gonna use my ult. Holy fuck, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Oh my god, I'm so tanky. Tower, get it, and that's it. Holy crap, guys, I just, like, threw and then didn't throw and then threw and then didn't throw and then threw again. 
Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And ooh, my throat hurts. <laughs> oh my god. I was screaming so hard. I don't know where the fuck that came from. But uh, yeah, this has been Final Hour here. I hope you learned a lot about Jax. Um, all I gotta say is take my good plays and use them in your games. And wherever mistakes you saw, don't do what I did. Avoid those. And uh, yeah, Final Hour here. Peace!